Have you ever wondered how to print and cure large 3D models like this one in resin without them bending or warping? We find that deformation is often common in large flat printed parts. Resin shrinks slightly when it cures and this can lead to warping of surfaces. However, those days are behind us now thanks to some innovative approaches we've taken to part design for additive manufacture. As part of an internal project, we've been developing a chassis to be printed on our Magna V2 printer. The initial parts, initially intended as prototypes, came out uneven and unusable, but thanks to iterative improvements, we've been able to make an accurate chassis that we are now confident enough in to take forward and use for production. This is all without expensive tooling costs or long lead times, and we can print new versions overnight as soon as the designs are ready. Keeping the whole process in-house and using the same part and manufacturing method for prototyping and mass production has saved us huge amounts of time. Adding a lattice structure to the large inside faces of the part helps spread internal stresses and helps the part print without extra support. Combining this with a print-in-place door panel and fan filter and internal features designed to be self-supporting means that in this print, only a few percent of the material is disposable support. We estimate a more conventional approach would have required several parts and 10 to 20% or even more resin needing to be disposable support material. This approach turns what would otherwise be an expensive multi-part assembly into a single print and cutting down on wastage allows us to save money, which helps us pass on savings to our customers. To learn in more detail on how we did it, the white paper can be accessed on our website.